The Member of Parliament for North Tongue, Samuel Okuje Tua filed an urgent question on the matter earlier this month after he published allegations of the President's use of a luxurious chartered flight for his recent trips in May. In response to questions on the matter on the floor of Parliament on Wednesday, Dominic Nitiwo, Defence Minister, indicated that the safety of the President is the paramount consideration in the choice of aircraft for presidential travels. VVIP or presidential travel is not about aircraft type. It is not even about cost, but it's all about safety, safety and safety of the aircraft crew and the passengers. When a president is traveling more, more, with more than 20 people for a, a business trip, as this president has done and brought in more than 100 million, 75 million for this nation, he will need more than just a falcon. Otherwise, the people would have to go a day ahead of the president to prepare themselves. The president, in fact, has to go a day ahead because no president can shower in this aircraft. You cannot freshen up in this aircraft. So you cannot go from this aircraft straight into a meeting. If you are using a commercial plane, Mr. Speaker, it's the same thing. But the North Tongue MP Samuel Kujetua Blackwa says the justification from the minister is untenable. We as a minority are not impressed one bit by the answers the defense minister provided. The question was simple. What is the state of the presidential jet, the Falcon 900 EXE? And is it airworthy? That is the simple urgent question. Clearly, you can see that the Falcon, the presidential jet, is airworthy. And so the president could have used the presidential jet for his three nation tour over nine days to France, Belgium, and South Africa. Later, Parliament approved a list of 11 nominees for deputy ministerial positions and Charles Edubuaya as Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance. The Committee for Trade, Industry and Tourism later toured the facilities of Ghana Link, the operators of ICAMS, Unipass, that is the paperless system at Ghana Sports. The leadership of the committee expressed satisfaction with the operations of the company. So far from what they have told us, uh, it, it sounds that they are, they are making a lot of program. They, you know, the first time they started, they, they, they tell us that they have now been able to uh, you know, um, you know, introduce their system nationally, which is progress, um, and um, and they co they continue to help work closely with custom to build capacity. Those are very important. Uh, but as I as I as stated, this is a work in progress. Management of ICOMs, we all know uh, the kind of troubles and uh, bullabaloo that uh, um, we all experience here in this country. Um, fortunately, a year or two onwards, we have actually chalked marked increases in revenue collection and we keep on maximizing collection by uh, virtue of the efficiency of the system. Executive Chairman of Ghana Link, Nick Danso, said the output of the MPs on the operations will improve their output. We are more than 500 here and uh, the revenue, as the custom guy said uh, the commissioner okay. and the commissioner they said is the revenue is about 24 percent and uh, 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 we are going to go up also well, all is about getting a, a, a perfect system